Hello, welcome back to a tropical podcast. You're joined by me, Shannon, and Leonard. It has been a while. Yes, it has. I mean, if you guys have watched our previous videos, it's been out like pumping uh, lots of videos for the past, I think, a week. That's because it's been delayed. Uh, I think we recorded it very early in October, and then we never actually got back to it until today, which is, uh, if this is going to be uploaded late again, uh, it is 25th of October. Right now, today, we're talking. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, I had a bit ca- a, a short catch up with with uh, Leonard just now, just to understand where we are and how we've been doing. And you know, I think we've been doing pretty good, Leonard. I think we 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 have kind of gained some sort of momentum with our lives. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope, yeah, uh, in the few weeks to come, we we gain some sort of further wisdom from it. But today, we we are going to look into. We're going to probe into the 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 the. The deeper wisdom of this topic called virtual reality streamers, or some people will say it as VTubers, is it? Like virtual yes. reality, augmented reality kind of people online, right? Yes. And, and um, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit because uh, I don't know squat about it. I just learned about it today while I was like looking through YouTube videos on it. And Leonard has some few in uh, uh what is it called internal connections, insiders <laughs> connections with people to be a bit more aware of it than I am, and that's why he mentioned uh, this as a good um podcast uh what is it topic for us to talk about, right? Uh, to be honest, like the reason why uh what about the reason why I decided this to be a topic was because yeah. A few weeks, uh, like I think two weeks specifically uh, from our last podcast, right? Yeah, yeah. Two weeks before our last podcast, uh, my groups, like basically my Discord group, my private Discord group, we basically, uh, yeah. yeah, the insider, my insider connections, uh, they started like very, like essentially fawning or getting hyped over uh, a particular VTuber, right? No, oh, I think I know about this, and yeah. I'm very okay. I, go I told. On. I told you about the story for a while, and I was so confused. Like, what the fuck is this thing that they're talking about? Yeah. They're, they're like talking in yeah. chat. They were like copy pasting shit. They were like post like insider memes essentially. They were copy pasting insider memes. And I was so confused. So I asked them, "What the fuck are you guys talking about? Like, what is this?" Yeah. Uh, and and... and they're like, "Oh, do you not know what this is? Are you, like, you, you, you know me? It's like that's what they told oh, me. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Do you not know what this is? You know me? No, I have no idea what this is." Uh, and so they talked. To, they told me some bits of it. I had to actually Google most of the stuff that they told me. But like, uh, they told me that they're they're watching a virtual YouTuber or something like a VTuber. Yeah. Yep. Wait, can I guess? Does it have something to do with the shark or not? Uh, no, no, no. The shark was actually like this is even before the shark. Believe it or not. Oh This is no. before oh, shark. So it was a long time ago. This is before shark. This was. Okay. The previous girl before Shark, if I had to guess. Actually. Oh my god, okay, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> See, so based on like, your conversation, we're, we're already going to a great start. So, yeah. uh, should I just dive right into it? or? Uh, I think I think before that, uh, we just give our usual rating of how we've been doing so far okay. from a scale of 1 to 10. How are you? I, I will rate myself as a 7 to 8. I'm doing pretty good, even though work is crazy, but... But uh-huh. but and challenging, but I'm 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 emotionally in a better place as I was uh-huh. as compared to like the end of September. So how are you doing? Emotionally, I'm like six or seven. I, I feel much better, okay. but like physically speaking, I feel like shit. I don't know why. I feel like because you've been out. Is that I, it? I, I, I don't know if I've been out. I'm just. I feel like when I sleep, I don't get a, like a really good night's sleep. You know. Oh yeah, I get what you yeah, mean. Like I, I wake up at like maybe seven or eight, right? Yeah. I wake up yeah, like, like yeah. seven or eight p.m. Eh, seven or eight p.m. Yeah. Sorry, seven or eight a.m. And then by yeah. the, by by one p.m. or two p.m., I feel like I'm already done for the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. I mean, if that's the case, we can move on. Then we've already established our level and energy for today, so I think we can move on to the crux of the the topic, which is VTubers, right? Or or, or VR streamers, I would I would call them. Okay. But, uh, my 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 question, my first question actually, the one that starts it all probably is, what is a VTuber or what is a VR streamer? Because 
from from what I've been looking at or or what I've been like asking uh 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 Yehaz about because because I think he's aware of it too. So so yeah, I kind I of like <laughs> kind of ask him what what the hell is this, right? And I, I think I've seen it from time to time with like those online chat rooms with the virtual reality kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um from my understanding, VTuber or VR streamers are basically people who are uh they only show their voices. I mean they only allow us to hear their voices, but you can see them through like Uh, a two D animation or or like a slightly three D animation. So it's basically them, but it's actually a cartoon version of themselves or like a, a like a an avatar that they use as as um as a as a what as a, like a like the, the looks for them. But it's it's actually them and they stream. So it's just like any other streamers, but they just don't use their face. They actually use a character. If 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 my understanding is correct. So yeah. uh, could you please? Correct me, uh, and and give me my understanding of what a VTuber is. Okay, so it's it's a pretty big subgenre of streaming, I guess. Um, so to begin with, uh, for VTubers or like virtual YouTubers are are there like they're basically online online entertainers. So they either make videos on YouTube or live stream mm-hmm. as like as when you mentioned with like their 2D. Um, like avatars right, yeah. as, so to speak right and uh from yeah. what i'm aware these like animated 2d slash 2d uh characters are usually made with like uh, some kind of special program called live 2d right? live 2d yeah live 2d so okay. they're they're, okay. they're they're somewhat like 2d 3d uh, avatar that that can get face rigged so there's a camera on like a computer that can detect points on your face Yeah, yeah. So you and, show the emotions as a 2D character, right? Yeah. So as you're making emotions, the, the 2D image inside, like the face rig, yeah, uh, will also show the same or similar emotion as you do. Yeah. Okay. So okay. yeah, yeah. So um, I'll talk a little bit, very briefly, about the history of uh, VTubers mm-hmm. or like virtual YouTubers, and mm-hmm. um, it started pretty long time ago. Uh, originally, the mo- like I guess this is from Wikipedia, but like the most earliest record of like VTubing, quote unquote, like this is not specifically for YouTube, but like uh, an instance where someone uses a 2D character as their avatar to do something, right, to entertain, yeah. Uh, yeah. basically came up a lot okay, quite a while ago, specifically from in from Nitro Plus uh, Super Sonic, if you know what that, who that is. I don't know who that is, but okay, go yes. on. Super Sonic Go is like is a fictional character that's from a computer game and also a mascot for like other music festivals or some shit like that. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. So that's that's like the quote unquote first instance of use, and then um, the first time it's ever used on YouTube was specifically by the Japanese UK blogger Ami Yamato. Oh, I think I know this one, Ami. Yamato. Uh, yeah, I know her. I think I know her. She's like It, like a virtual like she looks like a real person, right? But she's actually Yeah, she looks like a real person in a way, but she's actually not, right? Is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, like yeah, yeah. I remember so, her, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So Ami Yamato is technically, I guess, is like a, a the, the very first VTuber because she Oh yeah, not Hatsune Miku. Um Hatsune Miku is different because Hatsune Miku is completely Like computer generated. Yeah, it's, it's a computer. Right? It's not a person, right? It's not a yeah. person. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for I mean, I there's a person behind it, is right? Is yeah, what you're it's saying, right? That, it's just that her like character is basically virtual, like an avatar, right? Yeah, her, yeah. Okay. The places yeah. where her body should be is a virtual character, right? Yeah. And then I think there was also a case where Barbie did this, like did this as well, like with a teenage blogger. Like, oh yeah, I know about Barbie, but I don't know. I don't consider that as yeah. yeah it's, it's it's very it's like, very iffy to consider that. It's as kind of it's kind of it's kind of debatable because I think for Barbie it just comes off as like for me anyway it just comes off more of like a cartoon, like yeah like yeah yeah how you, how you would watch like normal shows like like you know like uh open and ipin sorry I, that was <laughs> at the top of my head but I, I that's what I meant like 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 you know it was just it felt like more of a show a reality show instead of like a reality in itself like Ami Yamato right I think it's yeah a yeah bit yeah different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah okay yeah, go on yeah. huh? so those are like the very early instances of using like basically a 2D slash 3D avatar as your character 
but yeah. the very first instance or considered to be like where that idea of VTubing exists uh, mm -hmm. started in 2016 or the very late 2016 uh, by someone named Kizuna Ai or Kizuna AI depending on how you pronounce the name. Kizuna, okay, I don't know about this as well. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, maybe Google her to see her character because I think she went viral for a while. So I don't know if you've ever seen her. Oh, okay. I, I have seen her. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so Kizuna, Kizuna, Kizuna I. Virtual. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, I thought she was like a. I thought she was a manga character. No, 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 no. She's she 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 basically um like there's a person behind that essentially, who, who oh. had a face rig. In fact, I think it's almost like a full body rig at some point because there's like yeah. videos of her basically moving. Like a person would as Kizuna Ai. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so oh, she made her you. debut on YouTube in late 2016, and then, uh, like, she, she, and and like she was basically someone who's complete, like uh, originally being the one of the uh, earliest agency held like VTuber. If that makes any sense. Uh, I think I get it because like it's yeah. kind of a company. Kind of thing, right? Yeah, yeah, it's like a almost like she, she there's a company that she works for and she basically creates content for the company. Um, and yeah. she essentially went viral in the late 2016, like so much so that she had, but I think she had like a million subscribers, like in a few months or something. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. yeah, by 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 2017, like middle middle or early 2017, she had like a million, and then within mm -hmm. 10 months, she had mm -hmm. two million subscribers. Oh god, okay. Yeah, she, so she grew like really freaking fast to the point where she became like a culture ambassador for the uh, yeah, GMT, like the I, I National seen, Tourism. I have, yeah. I have seen some people cosplaying as her, which I yeah, thought yeah, yeah. was just an anime, but it turns out it's actually VR, but okay. Yeah, it's an, an actual real character. Now, even though Kizuna AI went viral during her first like debut and stuff like that, uh, it didn't really break into the mainstream. It was still considered a very... Uh, niche, niche, niche. niche yeah, yeah like a very niche um like content right it, like because mostly because of a few limitation uh first of all kizuna ai was very very familiar to the japanese audience like she felt like an actual like idol essentially if you think about it mm -hmm. like the way she uh interacted with audience and stuff like that it's very japanese yeah. right yeah. If, if, i can't really describe what specific things that made her that way but um like just the way she talked uh the way she interacted with the audience it's very almost like secretarial like japanese style right yeah 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 so basically all about her is mostly appealing to the japanese audience and so even though she went viral she never really did like break into the mainstream mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. and then recently right Mm -hmm. As of recently, at least, there's a huge boom of VTubers yeah. again. Like, there's a huge yeah. trend of VTubers again. Like, I think somewhere around last year. I want to say either last year or even this year. Yeah, I think I saw it. I, I it, yeah. Well, for me, it wasn't more of, like, VTubers, but I, I saw more of, like, you know, those VR chats that people that people do with the... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah okay. okay. Or, or, uh -huh. I don't know, because... I, yeah, because I saw PewDiePie, PewDiePie also kind of like having some videos on that. I never really clicked on it and was never really interested. But I was aware that people were doing like VR kind of like chat modes and stuff oh, like okay. that. Oh, okay. So, so, but um, I didn't think... Hmm? So, one thing to mention really quickly about that is that like, I, I know you mentioned like the VR chat, for example, right? Yeah. Yeah, VR chat and VTubers aren't really... Uh, maybe the there's same? a connection. Yeah, they're not, but they're not the same. They're not the same. Really? I yes. thought VR chat is also kind of like... It's kind. Of, it's basically you in a in a character, and then you're chatting with people with 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 in the room with the same avatar, like with a different avatar. But it's not you uh, chatting face to face. Literally, it's like with with a with a character uh, as the mediator, right? Yeah, yeah. But with like VR chat, it's more real, I guess, because you're still talking to an actual person. There's no like entertainment oh, okay. made, it makes man, any sense. Yeah, like meanwhile, yeah, okay. with YouTubers, they're like actual YouTubers. They make content, right? Yeah, yeah. They but stream, but they make just... content, and so so. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, okay. Wait, I have a question. Then this is the, this yes. is the part that I was a bit of confused with as well, because this is also what I asked. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what what is this? So I get the idea of like voicing out two D characters. So basically, 
it's you and and you're saying something you're playing a game or you're playing with your friends and it, it's not actually your face that appears it's the it's the is this 2D character that appears right but is it role play or is it literally that person but it's just they are cartoonizing themselves that's my question that depends so uh, i'll get to it a little bit um more uh, when i would talk about the i quote unquote like second age of the tubing Um, mm. So as I mentioned before, during the first very like uh, major virality of VTubing from Baikis and I, yeah, it the what do you call it? Uh, it like I said, it didn't really break into the mainstream. However, the second mm-hmm. phase, which happened very like relatively rel- uh, like recently, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. There was like a huge boom basically of VTubers once again. So like uh, insane amount, I might add. Like the 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 amount of content I've seen basically just like. Quick googling, uh, what call it? Like quick googling for like basically, uh, like VTuber content. Yep. There's like an insane amount because they stream, so there's like hours and hours and hours and hours of content from like yep. a single VTuber, and then you have to consider the fact that it's like a huge amount of them to the point where they they're like almost un- like saturated. Okay, yeah. so here, here's the thing that I want to tell you also that uh-huh. I don't know if you're aware of it too, but I yeah. just knew I found out about it because I I I got an ad I, I got an ad for it and I was like, what the fuck is this for real? And it's it's real. Um, are you aware that that there there are VTubers in Indonesia as well? Yes, I am aware of this. Jesus Christ, because I wasn't, and like I was having like a like a, a marathon of watching like VTubers and 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 this is one also one of my my point was that. Most of them were actually Japanese, or at least they spoke Japanese, so it wasn't really English, English like like English heavy dialogues. It's always been Japanese heavy dialogues, right? Yes, yes, yes. So I was watching this compilation, right, the, about the shark one, and then and then and then other her her squad, and like I also wanted to later I want to ask about the Holo Life En and JP. I also don't get that because yes, I thought yes, it was yes. a channel, but it turns out it's not. So I was like, what the fuck is this? Um, <laughs> but did you know there was actually, there there is a a channel in Indonesia. It's actually literally also for VTubers. So it's called, if I'm not wrong, it's called. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called Niji Sanji ID. Yes, uh, I'll get to that as well. Don't worry. I, okay, I'll, okay. I'll, so you're aware I'll, of that. Yeah. You're aware of that. I'm okay. aware. Of, like I said, I did quite a bit of research regarding this. So okay, like, okay. Because I didn't understand it. Yes, yes. Because I was, because I was like, I saw it in an ad, right? And I was like, what the fuck is this? And then I, I checked their channel out, and I was like, oh my god, it's been here since last year, like, like 2019 August, and I was like. How was I not aware of this? Like, how how did what, what kind of like where have I been all this time? Like, how come I didn't? At least you know, I, I I mean, as a person who watches a lot of YouTube content, I would think that I I would be aware of this community or at least this booming community. Right? That's why mm-hmm. I was so shocked that like it reached Indonesia, but even I wasn't aware of it. Apparently, and, it's like, quite big here. Actually, I heard it's quite big. It, I like, didn't even Indonesia. fucking know. And and okay, you know what? I was a little bit bitter about it. I'll tell you why, but I'll I'll I'll, I'll tell you why later. But I was a bit butthurt about it. Okay. But but um, yeah. I I I was just yeah the, yeah. There's an Indonesian VTuber community as well. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. Go on. Uh. So so. Right. Uh. So yeah. So going back to the phase, like so, I mentioned there's a second phase of the VTuber boom, and this happened yeah. in the like. Quite recently, I I want to say it happened this year, yeah. But I've heard like from my inside sources that it's been happening for a while now, like back in the 2019, like back in yeah. 2019, like mid 2019. Yeah. yeah. So it's happened for at least like a year and a half at least, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can tell. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So with this big second boom, it's actually like this second boom compared to the first one actually did reach the mainstream audience, like yeah, uh, to the English one, even to the English one. Uh, and it's not particularly sure why, mm-hmm. uh, but a lot of people contribute to the fact that, like, um, the like basically, what I call it, compared to Kizuna Ai, they're a lot more unhinged. <laughs> <laughs> unhinged. They're they're a lot more. Uh, I say like a lot more. Comp- like they act a lot more like uh, normal streamers essentially. Like English streamers, right? Uh huh. Uh-huh, Does that make uh-huh. sense? So they they curse, they they like they they, they say like 
because because the thing is that the idea of VTubers was supposed to be their like virtual idols or something like that, right? Yeah, like like Kitsuna. What was her name? Kitsuna Ai, yeah. right? Yeah, Kitsuna Ai. Kitsuna, Kitsuna Ai. Like yeah. it, like that was more of if I if I can if I can say it it it, it was it was more like role playing, right? In a sense where mm-hmm. it's actually like a, it's not a real person. It's a 2D character, and 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 you just interact with her, and it's not really like a lifestyle kind of thing. But now it's more, it's more like, uh, like I said, it's not now. It's not so much like role playing. Now it's more like reality, which is like they're real people. Is what you're saying, is it? Yeah, there's actual people behind them, and then uh, they're just talking through a a a a a, 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 a 2D avatar. Yep, yep, yep. This is the this is the part that I was like, okay, so is it a role play or is it not? So you're saying that it can it can go either way, is it? Or it, it can, can go be either way because um. So as I'm going to get into a little uh, more. So as I mm-hmm. said, in the second phase, there's a lot of like very popularity with the mainstream, and that's mostly because how the girls are basically acting like real people, like the actual just streamers with just with a 2D avatar on their face, right? Yeah, some, yeah, yeah. Some ads. Some people do add like a little bit of role playing element into it. Right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like the shark girl, for example. The one. Yeah. The one because right? I, I was like, I was like, is that a real? Is that really a person, or is that just like a a character of some sort? You know. Yeah. There's no like, fucking way a girl is like that. I mean, for the most part, you know. Yeah. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah. So so there's like some role playing that they add to it, and it's and I think it's. Part of the appeal to some degree because it's like very disconnected. Like they have no constraints to be like There's an actual no risk person. As well. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's one of the main appeal of the uh, of the second phase ones. And the second phase or the second boom of the VTuber uh, popularity is mostly yeah. like attributed to a company or an agency called Hololive, right? That's the one. Yes, there, this, there's the one. So, Hololive is even like although Hololive isn't the biggest, like I don't think it's the only biggest uh, agency currently. It is one of the biggest, and it's also contributed as the one that's essentially uh, popularized the idea of VTubing. Yeah, yeah. Right? Because yeah. this is the one where like like there's streamers, but it's kind of like a certain character that they play also, right? So it's not yes, actually yeah. like a, it's not actually like a real life genuine person it's it's kind of like a made-up personality right um some yes some no some not if that makes any sense okay yeah, you know that, that that's the thing that scares me because you can't tell the difference which is yeah, like you can't really tell the difference but you just enjoy the content they create if that makes any sense yeah but it's scary but okay go on okay yeah, i'll yeah. tell you why it's scary to me later okay, so, so like for example i know some some of the like uh, vtubers from whole life actually tell things that, that have happened to them in real life Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. And, but some of them also just like basically act out the characters that they're supposed to represent. Like for example, if they're like yeah. a shark girl, they basically act like a shark, or they make fun of the shark, or if they're a pirate, they act like a pirate, and stuff like that. But there are yeah. some things that basically like seep into uh, their like like their real the the part of their uh, real people essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and, so it's not a hundred percent role play, but it's also not a hundred percent like genuine stream, right? Like a genuine uh, person, right? Is what you're saying? Yes, 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 yes. Because I know uh, one of them named uh, Natsuhiro Matsuri from the Hollow Life Girls as well. Yeah. Uh, some of the some of my inside source basically said she's basically a normal girl just with an avatar. Oh, okay. Yeah, but she, her other she, she doesn't, are she doesn't really role play much. She just basically acts as if she's a real, an actual like person. If that makes any sense. Oh my god, this is so. This is so like, I am, I am both like I am both honored, but also kind of weirded out that I that I get to live in this time of, <laughs> of era. It's like it's like I'm so I'm so happy. I'm so pleased with how far we've come as a. As a technical, like, like technological, like society now, uh-huh. but then I also kind of fear with what men can do from here on out. You know, <laughs> I and, mean, and... I mean, okay, like I, I thought the same way you did. So I was like, 
Wow, that's cool that there's content like that, but at the same time, it's like, how far can we go? How far will we go? Yeah. Um, and, and the funny thing is that I, not, I thought about this for a while, because like, we haven't done this stream, uh, we haven't done a podcast for a while, yeah. right? Yeah. We haven't done this podcast for a while, and it, 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 allowed, it gave me time to basically think about yeah. this too. And like, if I think about it, even though we, like, I, I, some of us might feel weird about the idea of like, um anime girls acting up as uh like st- like basically streamers acting out. sorry the other way yeah streamers basically acting out as like anime girls right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. some of you some people listening to this podcast might feel really weirded out by that and i thought and i thought about it so yeah and I, and to be honest when i first heard about it i'm like uh, okay right I, I, yeah. I was a little weirded out at first as well and then i started to think like is this what people felt when they heard like you people like uh watching like people like PewDiePie play video games you know yeah. I, wonder I, 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 could, I could i could get around what you're saying but at the same time it's also it's like kind of a bit different because at least with PewDiePie it's like it's the it's the it's the it's the what is it what's different about it is that for PewDiePie it's like it's a new it's a new way of entertainment right Yes, yeah. This one, it's not only a new way of entertainment, but you can say it's a new way of life. <laughs> and that's why it scares the shit out of me because it's like literally anybody can do this. And 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 what I'm saying is that I see some of the danger, the dangerous potential it can have, you know? Like and what? and I I can get to that later. So okay. so so let let's let's I'm going to just 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 mark it down that before we before we finish the uh, the this uh, podcast, the podcast. This, okay, okay. Uh-huh. Uh, let me let me talk about my concerns about these the, this stuff but but yeah i can totally see why you you mean that like it, 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 maybe it's because we're just not in that we're not in that generation of being used to it you know what i'm saying yep 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 i think i think i think like like if i had a niece or a nephew who kind of grew up with this like to them this is kind of just like whatever it's normal you know but for us it's like what the fuck is going on like i i i, I felt somewhat like honestly honestly i felt like it, i felt somewhat illegal just watching the shark girl talk all cutesy on my screen like i i felt like i had to kind of hide her cuz i felt like this was some sort of like guilty pleasure that i have to not show people you know okay cuz which is weird because it's it's just like any other streamers right Mm-hmm. But it just—I don't know—it just rubbed me off the wrong way. But I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll, we'll continue later on regarding your concerns. But uh, yeah, yeah. So Holo, yeah. So as I was saying, so Holo Life is the one that's like uh, contributed to one of the biggest uh, popularity booms of the VTuber scene. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. along with like groups like Nishi, Nishi Sanji, and there's also like independent VTubers as well. Yeah, like yeah. like uh, um the the one you told you showed me, right? Pikami, is it? Yeah, Pikami. Pik- uh, she's yeah. technically not independent, but I'll okay. get to her later because uh, okay, I I, it's, I don't know if it's a shame to say this, but I I've basically been binging binge watching her content the most out of like the all right, like, all right, the that's right there. Okay, what? okay. It's a confession right there. Okay. Yeah, it's a confession. Yeah, I, I like. I mean, I haven't, I, I haven't been watching any of the whole live stuff as well, other than the, like the introduction videos, I guess, like yeah. the one that basically tells you, okay. oh, who these yeah. girls so, are. And stuff, so. Here's my question with Holo Live: Is it yeah. a channel, or is it like, like, like you said, it's a company? Because the thing is, when you told me to search uh, about Holo Live uh, En, just to, to Google it or to no not not Google it, I I YouTube it. I try to search it, right? Mm-hmm. I couldn't find a channel for it, but I found people like making compilations or making like translations on it. Oh, uh, okay, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, let me explain that better. So, so Holo Live is the agency that manages them, right? Mm-hmm. So Hololive is the one that basically uh, takes care or like a talent agency that basically hires people and to to, to do like VTubing. Um, but on YouTube at least, if you really want to watch any of their practical content, you have to wa- uh, you have to look for a specific VTuber. Yeah. So so what you're saying is Hololive is not a YouTube channel, right? Uh, I don't think so. No. So so for example, that Shark Girl, she does she has a. But I I wait. That Shark Girl has. I forgot her name, but 
she has her own YouTube channel though. So so how how does it how does it come to play? Like each character or each member has their own YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, each each um each member has their own YouTube channel and like it's it's easier to deal that way because like if you if you like a particular VTuber, you can just watch their content. Like just look. Oh, for okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But but Holo Life is basically a, a like a brand, right? It's not yeah, a, a person. It's, a brand. Not a it's like the the people yeah, okay. that basically does the advertising, the okay. management. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like basically yeah. help like dealing with the girls, like or the agencies, like uh, uh, what do you call it? like uh, mm. like equipments and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, cause cause that's why I was like thinking to myself, like when I search Holo Live on YouTube, I was like, what the fuck am I seeing? Like, there's there's nothing here. It's just a bunch of like characters talking to each other. But where is the certain personality that I was looking for? And then that's why I came across the shark who was I think if I'm not wrong quite the quite new right in the scene yeah, right she, uh, her along with the detective I think her name is Amelia or something yeah I, I don't think I came across yeah, that I, one all I yeah, know yeah. is that I all I know and I'm aware of is the shark one and the girl like 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 that has the boings apparently I don't know what that is but like people boings. are yeah so basically there's this one girl I think she has pink hair or, or a pink outfit and 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 apparently she's like the the tallest or the the one with the biggest boobs in the oh in the... okay yeah, yeah she's part of the english one and she's like the serious caricature right she's like the yeah. she's like the, the kind of serious not a lot of cutesy cutesy ones like kind of normal mm-hmm. 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 Yep, yep, yep. yeah that's the only two character i know so so you're saying that so if i get this correctly if i understand it correctly holo life is basically just a brand where mm-hmm. there are a group of girls right there's the jp and there's the en uh yep, yep, yep. Like like just hanging out, playing games together is what you're saying. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, okay. So if you okay. want to like, let's say if you want to like look for a particular like talent, like let's say like uh, the the shark girl or Yukoku Roberu or anyone like that, you just basically have to go to their particular YouTube channel and like. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like so, a quick question then, Leonard. Mm-hmm. Are we considered VTubers? Who? Are we considered VTubers? Uh, ah, yeah, I was I was also considering <laughs> this because like when I when I want to start this uh, podcast, right? Yeah. It, I, I was I was thinking about like a strict definition of what a VTuber is, right? Yeah. Because yeah, I was thinking, yeah. okay, a VTuber is basically a streamer or a content creator with a like a, a, what do you call it a uh, Avatar. Uh, an, an av- not really an avatar, but like another layer of separation, if that makes any sense, and another degree of separation. So, yeah, like yeah. for example, if you like, if you compare to PewDiePie, PewDiePie is PewDiePie. You can see his face. Um, yeah. Even though he's a personality, he's, as well, he's a but personality yeah. and stuff like that. Even if the personality is fake, whatever he's he's like, you can tell he's the one that's actually providing the content, right? Yeah. Similar yeah. Similar to yeah. like like Filthy Frank or something like that, right? <laughs> so I was thinking of basically a lot like def- defining VTubers by like uh an- like basically there's another layer of separation like so for example the shark girl right mm-hmm. the one who's making content is the shark girl but there's also another person behind the shark girl that's doing the actual like acting or like voices and like stuff like that and then mm-hmm. and then I noticed I thought about this and then I was like wait a minute technically then if you can't see me like you can't see either of mm-hmm. us mm-hmm. and since we since most of our podcasts have like our our fucking stuff, exactly our tech are we technically v2 versus all of that <laughs> that's why i was like wait a minute wait a minute yeah. we could be viewers right here right now <laughs> but but I get the sense that, like, I think if you want to really be more specific with VTubers, they, they're the people who are they're the people who are actually moving. Is it like the avatars are actually moving or reacting? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I think that's like a pretty fair yeah. way of like categorizing them because, like, I don't know. Like, I don't want to go too deep into that that argument, like, because I don't think it matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can kind of yeah, tell yeah. who's a VTuber just by looking at, it. and even if you don't, it's like they're just. It's just content, right? It's just entertainment to begin with. Yeah, and I think for us, for us also, I think like it, I, for me and Ibrahim personally, I think we would be classified as a VTuber in the in the strictest sense if uh, we are able to kind of move or 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 kind of like like give that sense of reality, reality interaction, re- realistic interaction 
with with each other or or with the viewers you know because right now they're just the they just hear our voices and they just hear our, our they just see our photo right like our yes, yes. our, our uh, avatar so it, i don't really consider us vtubers but but yeah we could be considered as the the the, the, the loose version of it in a way right uh-huh. Um, yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. That means I'm 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 kind of understanding it correctly. Then that means there are there are there is a bit more of like role play YouTubers. I mean VTubers. But there's also a, a more of there's also some that's just like just solely off for not showing their faces. That's why they yeah, put on this showing name. their faces, their names, or their like actual real identity. Yeah. You know what? I think I think in a way the first time I've ever experienced like the the the. The you know when a photo kind of looks at your face and then you move and then the photo moves with you wasn't that kind of a feature in like the the photo booth camera option for Mac long as uh, time ago? I think so. Yeah, well, that's like the one you where you became a where the one where you became a dog or you became a snowman. Remember? Yes, 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 and yes, yes, face, yes. That's kind of it, right? That's kind of the 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 technicality of what a VTuber is, right? Um, not a VTuber specifically, but like the 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 live 2D aspect of like a yeah 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 like the face yeah. rig system essentially. Sorry, like the yeah the face rig system. Yes, yeah, correct. I I agree with that one. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Um. Yeah. Is is there anything you want to go forward? Or like, what are you want to explain again? If not, I will. I will. I will. I will move on to uh why I'm concerned about it or why I'm good uh, about it. We- could go a little bit more because you were a little confused about the hollow life like the different subcategories right like what like what like you said there was like hollow life generations yeah, and there's hollow life english hollow life id and stuff like that and you were like confused about were you yes, yes. no no I, i was i was more con- no i was just confused about like the whole like the whole role playing versus real genuine people uh, mm-hmm. aspect And also, I was confused about like I was confused about like um, the whole life in itself. Like, was it a person or 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 or, or a group member? Turns out uh, it's a brand. Right? Yeah, it's a brand. And so basically, and, and so basically, are you saying that Niji Sanji ID is equivalent to Holo Life? As in, yes, like, that's yes, just yes, a brand. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, okay. And um, then the little. So I don't. I'm not sure whether Niji Sanji in particular is actually a like a talent agency because i know they're also managed by like a, a larger another group or another company or something like that. yeah 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 mm-hmm. okay and i think they also have like an insane amount of like they have the largest amount of like vtubers as well yeah i saw i saw the list and i i think it was like around like eight to ten if i'm not wrong like, oh, no, but Yeah, but I think Niji Sanji is more diverse because uh, they actually include male, uh, male uh, VTubers. Like oh no, Holo as well actually. Holo as well. Really? Holo has males as well. They're called Holo Stars though. Oh okay, let me see yeah. Holo Star. I didn't, I didn't see this one. I only saw the the the. Ah oh, okay, I see. Yeah, they're they're not as well known as the Holo Live. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. I mean, in general, the male members aren't that popular compared to their female counterparts. But I mean, like yeah. I've watched yeah. their content and they're actually really entertaining. Like they're actually really, like really, really fun to watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this is this could be a new uh, this could be a new career options for us, Leonard. <laughs> If I highly life. doubt it. I don't think I'm like. Like I don't know in about month. you, but like I'm particularly. I don't think I'm that. In a month, in a month, alone. In, in a month, uh, in a month, a retropical podcast will be a VR podcast, a VR and you will see Shannon as a cute, like, like, like a cute, I don't know, duck character, and you can be like, I don't know, a, a bear character or whatever. <laughs> Who knows? We will. We can talk about this after the podcast. Why not? <laughs> sure. 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 Oh god! Oh god! I can't even think about it. No, I'm I'm distraught by it. But yeah, okay, okay. I guess it's it's cool. I understand a little bit about it already. It's quite mm-hmm. clear. But is there anything else you think you want to add up before I give you my concerns? Uh, bitterness. Not, not really. I mean, yeah. So like the the only thing I mentioned is like so we mentioned a little bit regarding pick a meme, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. How yeah, I, really yeah how. and how the fact that like. She's technically not independent, and it's the only reason why I mention her like that is because uh, she is mm-hmm. part of a group, 
Mm-hmm. They're called VOMS, V-O-M-S, or the Box Monster Project or something like that. I have, I have never uh, heard of that. So she's like, she's, in, she's not an agency, or not, but she is managed by a booklet producer with, along with like two other girls. Vocaloid like, producer? Yeah, Vocaloid producer. His name is Gyari. Okay, this is... I highly awesome. recommend you Google him because his profile picture is amazing. I love it. Gyari, okay. Yeah. Put on Google. On YouTube or Google? YouTube, YouTube. Specifically on YouTube because the Google one is like, they, it, it's, it's just an anime girl, but the YouTube profile picture is amazing. You mean the, 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 the penguin? <laughs> Yes. The bird. <laughs> the bird. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So Pikami and like two other girls are basically managed by him, and like the okay. along with the art and everything. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's just that's just something so, I want so, to so, randomly so, mention. Yeah. Yeah. So because from you know it, Pikami. Yes. From you know Pikami, uh, is Pikami to you, is it a role play more to role play heavy or is it more to stream like genuine personality heavy? Uh, yeah. So like I said, it's so it's very hard to tell because I know very much that like I think personally she like her, her happy go lucky personality that she shows on stream and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure the majority of that is real, but like she does have like a, a bit of role play not much like the fact that some like, for example she mentions uh like whenever she says like japan or united states she says virtual states or virtual japan just for like quote unquote uh we're called like role playing sake mm, okay so, there are stuff like that but it's not it's not as like extreme as like the shark girl right because i know that the shark girl even identifies herself as a shark she doesn't even want to consider herself as a human and i yeah, was just like, like okay. yeah but that's the thing right even if she mentions it I, I don't th- like none of them are actually serious about it it's just like a joke as in like no one actually takes that idea seriously if that makes any sense really because i think i think in a way the way they in- well i don't know i don't know but when uh-huh. i saw how the, how low life girls interact it seemed as if they were like playing this they were playing this some sort of character instead of being themselves. Like it, it blended, you know, in a way. But I felt like it was more role play based as compared to like Pick a Me. Ah, okay. Is where I'm getting at. But she mainly plays games, is it? If I'm not wrong. Yeah, she mainly plays games, and she sometimes like uh, does. So, I, like I said, uh, like a confession is that I've been mostly binge watching her content. Mm-hmm, um mm-hmm. so quite long each of her content's huh? quite long yeah like, each of her content is long but yeah go on it's like a few hours long and like uh the only reason why is because she she she's the only vtuber that i know of that um speaks both english and japanese yep yep that's what yeah. i know this as well yeah and that's why i, I can actually watch her because she the moment she says anything japanese she translates instantly and vice versa if she speaks english yeah, she translates yeah. to japanese so it's a lot like you can actually understand what she says and um so she has like a few different content so the majority is obviously gaming a lot of the other vtubers will also have a lot of like gaming related um content she also has mm-hmm. like uh just like just chatting streams mm-hmm. so like where she's she's drinking like either either tea or actual alcohol uh with like her 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 like chat like her or get like the people who's watching her so she just ch- chat with her with them mm-hmm. like in general uh mm-hmm. there's also another mm-hmm. one called the uh, pick me tomodachi but i don't know what i haven't actually gotten into any of that content yet because i'm mostly a gamer for myself okay. yeah okay so so those are the contents that she has other like if you watch any of the hollow they also most of their content also real revolving mostly about video games and also uh like something called like talking as well like the free talk content mm. yeah yeah so there's okay. that yeah i mean i mean that yeah that's why i also noticed um mm. that's that's not that bad but um hmm, okay <laughs> yeah. 
uh, yeah, yeah so that's that's the only thing i like uh like th that's why i'm not sure why you, you, there's like a cause of concern because i personally haven't seen one okay so so uh -huh. now maybe we go to the segment of my concerns yeah yeah I yeah you can a go person, mm -hmm. a creator as well i'm not really considered as a creator but like just for my perspective what, what i see as a concern or, or some 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 issues that might have, might happen in the future okay mm. I think the first concern that I see is the the sense of um, accountability. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know how they work. I mean, in terms of structure, maybe maybe it's because, like you said, they have an agent. So so it's kind of based on a company, right? A company full of like talents, and also a company full of like uh, uh, what is it called? Um, oh, what is it called? Those 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 tech technic technic technology people like basically the engineers i mean like it's a group of engineers or it's a group of talent people and it's 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 one agencies basically right mm -hmm. for me the issue about accountability is more to more to the fact that like you don't actually know who they are oh okay okay so so it goes back to the whole like gamers when they you know those those gamers who don't stream their faces and it's just their voices. Take a, take a take a take a point. For example, for example, like cry, cryotic. Um, he never shows his face, right? It's always been his voice all this time. And and even now, you can see what happens uh, when when your when your uh, image is not on the web. It's only your voice in a sense. That every uh, I mean, like obviously, people would I don't I don't know. Some people might have searched deep and find out who or what cry looks like, for example. But but there's kind of a difference, right? When like PewDiePie is under fire and when Cry is under fire, because with PewDiePie you can you can see the person who is under fire for it, right? Mm -hmm. And you can like take account that okay, this is the person, and he can himself show uh, to the to the world that he's sorry for something or 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 he's cheating on something or um, he's genuine about something. But with VR, like going back to like like Cry, for example, like if it ha if there happens to be any mistake in the future or any like issues. Um, I don't know. I feel like there's that sort of like ingenuity to it because like not ingenuity. What's it called? This genuinity. But, but basically, it's not genuine because uh, who, who they are kind of dealing with, who they are kind of like, uh, what is it called? Uh, interacting with is technically not a real person. If you can argue, right? Especially if they're in the role play heavy sector. If they're still yeah. in the streaming sector, like you can still take accountability as if like this person is real, so you can be kind of like. Yeah, you can. I don't know how to explain, but you can kind of put, uh, put some sort of like um, weight on this person in terms of responsibility. But if it's just a character, right? And 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 it's just a it's just an engineered version of a of a of a of of a character. Like I said again, then it's like who's who's going to be taking responsibility for it if there's any issue that arises, you know? Mm. I, I uh, don't know. That, that that was just that that was one me, I was kind of about. Yeah, but I don't know. Like uh, for me, in that perspective, I kind of understand it. But the so in a lot in the larger group, so let's say like Holo Life or Niji Sanji, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I don't think that's that big of a deal because if there is like uh, like what do you call it? If there is some kind of like controversy, let's let's say similar mm -hmm. to that of cryotech where like there's like grooming involved, right? Yeah, yeah, something like that. that's a, that's a serious case, but like I mean, that's like, a serious yeah, case, yeah. Fun. For largest group like Hololive and Niji Sanji, there are ways of dealing with that, and it's like uh, we call it, it's mostly dealt by the company themselves, right? So like if yeah, the, the complaints are mostly sent to the uh, mostly sent to the company or the agency itself and they will reprimand the talent yep yep right uh because i've seen because i think there was a controversy once regarding that oh really oh yeah, shit. yeah. Okay. i think one one of them like it's not as bad as like grooming or something like that but there was like a, a case where one of the vtuber went a little too far like a little risque mm-hmm mm -hmm. right i mean it's there's still an avatar so even if they go like risque it's mostly just from their actual avatar character right yeah 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 so it, it is like and and basically she got reprimanded by the camp like the company for that so there mm -hmm. i think 
specifically when it comes to that, there is a way to deal with there is a like damage control uh, like in damage sense, control essentially yeah. like they could they could let them go they could like report them or stuff like that and that they'll be fine but with the independent one i can see that as a concern for me. Yeah. yeah 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 that's why that's why i think to me it's like when when i first thought about when you told me about vr or vtubers i thought it was not a company i didn't think of it as like a like like how they made it to be like holo life and niji sanji i i really thought it was more of like um, those individuals that that comes out with just their their avatar on, and then they just make friends with people without like a company. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, to so be fair, are... from what uh, from what I know, like a, a a large population of VTubers are independent. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, the content that, creator like... type, the streamer types, they are independent. But yeah. the most popular ones are usually under a company or some kind of group. Yeah. Yeah, which is good, which is good. Meaning to say there's accountability for it, right? And and if anything yes. happens in a way, it's... Yeah, but then at the same time, for me, it's also like because they're in a company, because they're kind of like reflecting a character and not a real, I feel also kind of like it's kind of a, like a cash grab thing. Uh, that that It's not really a concern, but this is the part where I'm like, this is the part where this is this is my biasness, but this is where I get a bit, bit salty about it. Because it's like, now uh now you you don't have for me anyway and my idea is that for a v for you to be a vtuber obviously you have to be entertaining that that's one thing but now you don't have to have the the quality of your looks to kind of play a part of that success and i know maybe it's it's helpful because it helps those people who are very entertaining but no face no no attractive value to their to them uh it, it helps them I also think it's also kind of like now it's just easier now to get money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, and then, I won't lie. I'm salty about it because in my head, I'm like, I wish I could do that too. Like, I wish I could just uh, go on and be cute. Uh, hello, I what? Uh, no, no. As a, I'm talking about as a to as a as a beep. That's what I meant. Oh, is this the oh, is this your salty section? Yeah, this is my salty section. This is my salty section. Okay. That's what I'm saying that my my concern has been already provided to you. That that's just, that's my concern. Like the fact that uh, it's not accountable and it's also kind of like disgenuine because it's like it's fake in a sense, you know, because because you don't know who the real personalities are, right? Mm-hmm. But the same can go for any YouTubers who show their yeah, faces. Yeah, like, any YouTubers for that matter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the one I, the, the like the one we told like the one I was talking to you about, right? Like he showed his face for like many freaking in years and then it turns out that he was like that and i never realized it too right so it, uh, it can apply for a real life face as well uh, but apart from that where my saltiness comes forward it's like now it's so easy to get money just on on being on air and being like like cute you know uh, okay. i don't know i'm just i like i tell you i'm very salty like what what if what if one day i just like like okay i don't want to be I don't want to work in my firm anymore. I just want to be a VTuber. I can just like pop out, buy a webcam, a good one, and then just become like, I don't know, uh, like, uh, Renee. I'm Renee. So I become like a character as a Renee, and nobody will know that it's actually me. <laughs> and it's like, I got all these fans or whatever, but but nobody will actually find out that it was me. Well, well, Wait, there's a Renee that came out, it's me. <laughs> but like, my point, my point is that it becomes so i don't know i feel like it's not i know it's i know it's it's for me it's probably i'm gonna get flame for this shit i will probably get flame for this shit because because in a way i'm being hypocritical because we're doing the same thing uh-huh. by not showing our faces but to me i just feel like it's so easy and unfair now to kind of be able to get lots of views lots of money lots of cash grab in a sense by not even like by not even showing yourself yeah i think that's that's where my my saltiness ca- comes from you know but even without the existence of vtubers that has been a thing a while, for a while now right like like what like what like cryotic for example he never shows his face yeah that's true that's true right? that's true yeah, yeah. Like, and i think and, like mm-hmm. I think Lily Pichu as well before she started yeah. seeing me yeah. properly. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. To be to be to be fair though, with Lily Pichu, she actually still had like like musical talents to her. 
so uh, so like it kind of for me it, it kind of like to me it's like in a way it's like she kind of deserves it she deserves the view deserves the money deserves the whatever because she has like she has an added value to it whereas for this the added value is literally just a character it's just a drawing that's the added value and people are crazy for it and i'm just like sitting in my salty chair just be like <laughs> but like could have done that you know i could have done that instead of working my ass every day getting scolded by my seniors for work it, it, yeah but like it, it's, it's okay so i don't know i mean you're i, I think you're so like uh what about like reasons that are either un unfair or at the very least unapplicable not not always applicable yeah. because okay yeah. sure the the anime girl uh like the anime girl avatar has added value right so you're, that's your yeah. arguing is but not everyone is that um what about not not like even if you just have an anime face on you like you have you still have to be entertaining you still have to have some kind of yeah, yeah, like yeah entertainment yeah. Va- like you have to introduce entertainment value to the stream otherwise you are you're, you're not gonna be anything right yeah 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 right? that's like, true that's cause, true because like i mentioned um even like excluding even excluding um holo live and Nisi, uh, niji sanji right mm-hmm. um There's like other YouTube. Uh, there's like a lot of like VTubers, even in the uh, just like in the independent Japanese circle. Yeah. And there's like oh, like thousands of them. On like uh, on 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 if you if you try to look on for them independently. Yeah. There's like yeah. hundreds and thousands of them. And the only one that's like breakthrough in terms of the mainstream are like either Niji Sanji or Hollow Life or like. The, the bombs the one I mentioned before right yeah yeah like like most of them have like reached like a hundred thousand subscribers or something like that or like even more than that yeah. oh oh I saw the shark one and I think like in less than a year she already got like five million subs and I was just like girl I mean if it was that easy you know I would love yeah. to do that as well there's like also some kind of like virality factor added into that as well right What virality? But like a viral factor of it, because like oh, if, yeah, if yeah. I remember correctly, the shark girl in particular, she was very popular because her in her very first debut stream, she made like an accidental meme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember her, the ah, her, yeah, yeah, I would, the yeah. ah one, yeah, where oh, like basically yeah. her mic didn't work properly or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that yeah. became a meme, and so that's why yeah. she boomed into like popularity. Same with like a lot of different YouTubers as well. But that means basically anybody can be. Can be a v like can be an anime girl. I mean, like yep. even a guy could pretend to be an anime girl, and you will yep. never know, right? It's yep. basically the, the deal. Yep. And, and and that 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 for me, it's like it add concerns to myself as well. The the concern on my list is just like like catfishing. Is it catfishing? In a that? way, in a way, and also in a way, it's it's also kind of like you will never know who this person actually is. That just I don't know. To me, that's just what scares me a little bit. It's it's uh. just more of like the what is it called the anemon anemonony no. The animosity, no, no, no. What animosity? No, the animon. Fucking hell, Anna, anonymity. Anonymity. The, you mean? Yeah, the anonymity. What? Anonymity. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Basically, for me, it's the aspect of the anon anonymity. Okay, that that you know the okay the aspect of being anonymous uh-huh. is what kind of like, I think to me it's kind of what is dangerous in my opinion i don't know i don't know what i don't know what it is like 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 uh, specifically or concretely how i think it's it's dangerous but i just think that like i feel like it's not that safe to to kind of be obsessed about uh, a character i will never know who is behind you know okay yeah i think that's just my that, that was just my 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 concern about it that like, like but just like the anonymous said, just the anonymous aspect of it The anonymous aspect of it, and also like I said, because of that, it becomes it transcends to the accountability, right? And not not for the ones companies lah, probably because companies they are the ones that are in charge, right? The companies are the ones that will take the blame or whatever. But mm-hmm. it's for those individuals who who show themselves as like characters or or as caricatures of of a certain personality or whatever, and then like turns out later down the down the line, it's not someone you expect or like you will just never know you know it's like like you said it's 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 really it's really like augmented reality it's really like 
fiction, you know? It's like fantasy because you will never know the reality of it, you know? Huh. Which I think scares me a little bit. I don't know. Okay, I, so, I, yeah, yeah. I think it's, I think it, it, this is like the most, uh, what do you call it? The most split opinion podcast that we might have. Because I can't... Yeah, like polarity, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I can't see that at all. Like, I, I don't have any concern regarding that. Like, sure. So there's the anonymous aspect of it, like you mentioned. Anonymity of the... Uh, the yeah. YouTubers themselves, and yeah. you, and for some reason that scares you. To me, yeah. it's it's for me, uh, it's actually better that way. Why? So that you there's no chains, like there's no unresolved chains. Is what you're no, saying? No, no, like, it's like not... because for like for Japanese people specifically, uh, uh, mm-hmm. like because uh, I'm not sure if you are familiar with how bad like the idol culture in Japan is. Like especially around. Oh no! Like, I get, I get, I get. Yeah, yeah stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, and like yeah. even even there's a huge stalker problem, like a, a few months ago uh, from in Twitch, right? Uh, yeah. Like I think I'm I'm not sure if you know this particular streamer called uh, like Anita. No, I don't know, but I I'm aware of the stalker culture. Yeah. Like, so, so Anita Anita was like a Twitch streamer that has I forgot what she has. She has a particular disease, I forgot what it is, like, uh, or a condition. Uh, two rats, as it is. Yeah. I oh, know. yeah. Two rats, yeah. Yeah, she had two rats syndrome. And, like, that's, but that's not the, the thing that's related to why she's, uh, what do you call it? To, to why she was, uh, uh, to why she was stalked. But she was quite, like, she said she'd been stalked by someone for, like, a few months already, right? Mm-hmm. And the way I see it, it's like this anonymity with, with the, yeah, with the VTubers. Would with the VTuber it. aspect thing, with just having like an anime avatar and not, and not using their real names, not revealing any personal information mm. about themselves and so on and so forth. Yeah. I think it's better that way, so it's safer for them. Yeah. So they can still provide content without being, you know, fucking stalked yeah. or being uh, yeah. targeted no, think, outside of their think- real life and so on and so forth. I think that's actually a good point because I, I didn't really think of it that way because I, I I think for me I was just so uncomfortable with the fact of like being anonymous to the point where like, there's no accountability a possible moment yeah. for you not to have accountability because it's not a real person it's not a real like re- it's not reality you know it's it's literally it could just be a character of some sort it could just be uh, a stretch of a person you know oh, that, okay. that 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 scared me a little bit uh-huh. yeah but but I, I I guess like coming from your point of view of like idolization and and the seriousness uh, of it like sever- the severity of the culture like I kind of get especially in Japanese culture like, that one yeah I kind of understand why this is this kind of a good like a, a good innovation yep um like I said it could be a future possible career for us Leonard <laughs> <laughs> who knows. Who knows? In a month, right? It'll be the Retropical VR podcast. <laughs> Actually, uh, one of my insider friends is VTubing. Though I, I, he hasn't told me his. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. His 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 like channel at all, but I do know he's VTubing. He showed me his setup already beforehand. And 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 and, and what does he think about it? Like, uh, it, it, like uh, from your opinion, or like from his opinion, sharing it with you, like, um. Uh, is it be- like you said? Is it is he doing this because of the aspect of like safe? Because it's like more of a safe space for him because nobody will know who he really is, or 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 is it like to my to my end where it's just more of like it's for cash grabs? It's it's to make it easier in life and stuff like that. No, he's just doing it because he's he kind of admires VTubers. Mm, like he I just see. wants to try being. Them. It's kind of like how how us and like uh, actual YouTubers, you know. Yeah, I get, I get, yeah, 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 I get. Um, well, I mean, I I think I understand your point of view, see? Like, I, I don't think it's wrong as well. And maybe, like I said, maybe because I'm so new to this thing that I'm a bit ignorant about it, and I, I kind of, like, it was a bit creeped out or a bit worried about it to the point where I was just like, what the fuck is this? But I won't deny that I might give it a go in the very far or near future. No, 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 not near. Uh, and in in a future, in the future, perhaps. So we don't know. We don't know. And this is this is a good concept, though. Um, it's just, yeah. I just, I think to me, it's also 
I don't know. Have you ever seen those moments where like those people who do these things, like the 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 virtual augmented reality kind of thing, they move slightly so ever to the right or to the left that their real face gets 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 popped out? What do you mean? I think I think I don't know if it's VTuber or not, but I did see someone or I think a streamer who like he had his like avatar on but because he was moving in some sort of way or his internet connection was not good that that the face disappeared and then his real face showed and he was like really really like shocked by it because then everybody now knew of his face you know uh... what do you think about that like 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 what about the possibility of of being able to show your real self accidentally isn't that kind of like a fear yeah that is a fear but like that's also a risk of doing it to begin with mm. and that's almost like one of the reasons why uh what about, it's kind of one of the reasons why we have mods like, no, i'm kidding yeah and like no like they're in a in a what about, in a management you know that's why yeah, they're in yeah, an agency yeah. Some of yeah, are that, 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 that's why it's a little bit different, lah. It's a bit, a little bit different if you compare the comp, the company ones, like the agency ones, to the, to the, to the like individual. Yeah, because it's a bit different, like the management, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's a good concept. I don't. I feel like I feel like okay, as compared to TikTok, I feel like I would I would be more down to do this than I would do in the TikTok like community. <laughs> Um, I don't know what that tells you about my age or what that tells you about my 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 batch of a generation or something. I don't know. Yeah. But, but I feel like I I I'm that kind of. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm not that I'm too old for TikTok. But it's just more of like, I don't think I can put myself in the TikTok realm where most of the people are all about like, you know, getting viral or or looking good or looking hot or whatever. Uh. Where VR is the opposite, right? I mean, VTubers are more to like the content, the personality, not the looks, right? So that's why I think if I were to ever do uh, either, I would probably lean towards VR more, say. Like VTubing, is it? What? Sorry. Like you're more, you'll you'll be more inclined to do VTubing. Yeah, I think I would. I would definitely consider VTubing more than uh, than um, TikTok. Yeah, mm. yeah, because I think TikTok is. It's already saturated, but you did say that v- VTubing uh, community is already saturated too, right? It right is now? pretty, like at least in Japan. I don't know how it is in like the English space, because mm-hmm. like I do know a few. So so like and there's a whole lot of English, right? Yeah. So there's a whole lot of English, and then there's also like other independent ones. So there's one that's like very NSF NSFW, and that's a, uh, I think what was her name. Forgot. Oh, uh, I think her name is like Melody or something. Project Melody. Okay, let me search that up. Yeah, Project Melody. Look her up. Mm-hmm. So you know Cam Girls, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah, yep. So, so so imagine like VTubing, but like with Cam Girls. That's basically oh, Project my God. Project Melody is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like her, and then I think there's another one called Nyaners or something. Nyaners. Those are the ones that I know are, uh, I think, considered independent and also like just sole on like working on English content. Because I do know the whole life girls, uh, speaks English. Yeah. Like along with Japanese, they also speak Japanese. Yeah. Like even though they, even though a lot of their, uh, a lot of their content is specifically, um, like English related or English uh, dominated. Yeah, they they still sound they still speak Japanese. That, yeah, that's yeah, where yeah. I'm, Which actually, 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 one of my first question was also like I wanted to ask you whether like VTubers are mainly Japanese, because from from your recommendations, like the one that I've seen today, it's mostly uh-huh. Japanese speaking or at least Japanese uh, influence or uh, not influence sorry, uh, what is it called fluent in Japanese. Uh-huh. Other than Nichi Sanji, which is basically an Indonesian like company, but then when I saw some of their videos, they're still speaking in English as well. Yeah, even so the I'm... Indonesian, even the Indonesian ones I know, like can speak Japanese as well. I think. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, the one that I watched in Nichi Sanji were that they mostly speak in uh, in in English, even though they did speak in Bahasa for some points. But it's mm-hmm. like 
whenever they interact with each other, it's always in English. That's why I was wondering, kayak, has there ever been like a literal, like, just just solely bahasa VR? And I don't think it's there yet, yeah. Should it be the first one? I'd be like, hello, selamat pagi semua. Oh my god, no, I can't. I, I don't think I can either. I, I have to speak yeah. English mostly, I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I can if we want to try, but like, eh, I don't know. This is a new uncharted uh, territory that I'm afraid of. I, like, it's not, I, I'm not particularly comfortable completely speaking Bahasa. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, I mean, I learned a little bit now about VTubers. I learned that uh-huh. it's, the, I don't know if it's going to stay for a long time, or I don't know if it's a phase, but... But it's good that, you know, like I said, I'm very, very honored to have lived in this era where this kind of thing happens. Yes. <laughs> And, um, yeah, I mean, that's all I have to say. That's all the questions that I have for you, I think. There's not <laughs> really much because I haven't really, I haven't really, like you said, you had time to kind of grasp uh, on the matter, right? Because we haven't yeah, been talking yeah, yeah. for Because I, I have been talking to, like, my insider. Right, right. My insider guy and then... Uh, right. Like I've uh-huh. I've also most like I've also personally ha- like have basically binge watched some of the content. Yeah. Uh, made by, we got uh. like made by the VTubers like Pick Me for yeah. example specifically. I'm a huge yeah. fan of her. It's the opposite of oh huge fan. Wow, that's that's a strong yeah. word. I'm, Those are I'm strong words. Fan. But wow, that's good. Okay, that's great. I haven't found like I have a, have I haven't found like a VTuber that I kind of like click click with. But yeah, if I yeah. do, I'll let you know. Maybe maybe your friend, if your friend wants to share his channel, like I would be more than happy to see his uh, his content. And maybe he can open up my eyes to the possibility of that as like a possible career or a project. It's just, I think for me right now, I'm at that phase of like this belief that this is kind of becoming like a a, a, a cult kind of thing. Like it's becoming, it's becoming like a real a real community, you know? Like, like yeah, yeah. Becoming, it's taken very seriously and and um i'm not saying it's a bad thing but i'm just surprised that it's happening now i i don't know why but i would have expected that this would happen like 10 years later when i'm already old and i'm already not aware of like these things that kids should be doing but um yeah i i think i need some time to process <laughs> the concept um if you If you want, because I'm also wasn't that into VTubing as well. I recommend specifically for me, because yeah, this is how I how I got into yeah. VTubing yeah. myself. Yeah. yeah. And this is like me being corrupted by my degenerate insider man. Yeah. Uh, other people. Yeah. 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 So I for me specifically, I looked into like Pick Me. Yeah. You go to her playlist and look for English fan made clips and just keep watching that. I don't like. For me, mm-hmm. I found most of my entertainment from there, and then I started watching her full streams. Okay. Yeah, it, okay. and it, and like maybe other of the Hollow Life girls, like Hollow Life members, will also have that. Uh, I also recommend if you're looking for guys specifically, like the male VTubers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I hope I I recommend Yukoku Roberu. Okay, that that's a mouthful. I might have to look at it up again yeah, later. Yuko, like, what? Uh, let me see. I, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing his name right. Let me see. Let me double check. I'll list it. Uh, yeah, Yukoku. Okay, wait. Yukoku. And uh, Roberu. Yukoku Roberu. Oh. That's his full name. Sorry. Is it together or separate? Yes. Uh, uh, Yukoku and then face Roberu. Okay, let me check. Yukoku Roberu. Yukoku. Okay. Yep. My yeah. first so one. I recommend him from Hollow Stars and then Kanae from Niji Sanji. Kanae, wait, I think I know it. Is it the ten one? I don't know. No, no, no. He's a. Uh, he, no, no, no. He's the, like the he wears like a sweater it. or something. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's not the it's not the corporate one, yeah. No, no, no. No, oh, he's okay. he's part of Niji, Niji Sanji. He's part of Niji. Oh no 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 no! I I was saying that in Niji Sanji, there's one character where he's like the corporate one, like because he wears suits. I don't know. There's a lot of the characters in Niji Sanji. Yeah right? yeah, dude. Okay, speaking of Niji Sanji, the ad that I got was like their anniversary uh music video, and okay, I I 
I know that maybe I come off as like I sound a bit entitled or I sound a bit like mean spirited. Cause okay, just, just give me a slack, give me a break. Okay, I'm new to this. I don't understand. I'm trying to understand. It's like it's like a it's like a it's like a conservative parent finding out that their son or daughter might be like gay or something. Like it's just a new concept that you have to grasp first to understand. You know, to to, to fully be okay with it. You know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but but I will tell you, even if. I was a bit like judgy about it, or I was a bit like like cautious about it. I think that the music video or like the song for the anniversary of Niji Niji Sanji was actually really good. Like like it's actually very good, and they were singing in Bahasa, you know. Uh huh. They were singing in Bahasa. That's why I was like, I thought it was English or I thought it was Japanese at first, but I was like, holy shit, this is not. This is in Bahasa, and it's actually really good. A four minute four minute worth of uh, my time. And I didn't even skip the ad. I didn't skip the ad at all. I was just there to watch the whole thing. I, and I even I even went to the channel. Like that was the first time I was like kind of Ooh. glad. I got click baited by the ad. Yeah. That's why. That's why, in a sense, uh, I knew about this. That's why I was like surprised that in uh, that Indonesia already kind of had this going for them a few years yeah, yeah. ago. You know? I think. Uh, so the main few countries that already have like a pretty significant. Uh, VTuber presence is so definitely Japan. Mm. Um, I thought China might have been pretty big, but according to my friend, the Chinese members aren't particularly like a lot of subscribers yet. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, uh-huh. maybe it's still growing there. It hasn't gone viral yet. yet so yeah, yeah, because I think there's still about the 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 cuteness of a real face of a girl. Yeah, yeah that... maybe I don't know, because like, because because uh, uh, the way I see it usually is like. Like Japan starts it and then China follows it and then everyone else follows it. Yeah. But yep. apparently, apparently China hasn't gotten that popular yet. So Japan, yep. China, mm-hmm. I think Indonesia is also pretty big. Yeah, I mean, if if they can generate about like four thousand, ten thousand views, I think that's really pretty big. Yeah, yeah, like from what I've heard, the Indonesian like VTuber scene is actually pretty big. Like especially uh, Niji Sanji and also like Niji Sanji's Hanamakia and. Uh, Hololive yeah. like low 15 or something, Ariani or something. Ariani. Yeah. 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 So those are like the big ones, I think, from what I've heard in Indonesia. Wait, wait, wait. There's a there's a there's a there's a there's a Hololive Indonesian one? Yeah, there's an Indonesian Hololive as well. So there's three there, but there's only three of them. So there's Ayunda Risu, Muna Hoshinova, which is also pretty big, and then Ariani Low 15. Wait, let me check. What the fuck? Yeah. Okay, this one I didn't know. Hololive ID? Hololive ID, Hololive Indonesia. Just Google it on YouTube it, because I don't think you'll find any. Yeah, I, cu- I couldn't find it in, in yeah. on YouTube. Wait, let me let me show you. Hololive. Hololive. Ugh, ID. Okay, wait. Okay. Um. Oh, three pe- three girl three yeah. girls. Yeah. Oh, it's an audition. It's an audition for it. Audisi VTuber Hololife Indonesia. Wow. Yeah, but but they've already found the voice actress, right? Just asking for a friend. Just asking for a friend. What? 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 I mean, no. Because the thing that I saw on Google is that they they were opening up for auditions for uh-huh. the girl. Uh-huh. And I was just asking. They've already found the girls, right? They're oh. not in search of people, right? They might still be looking for more. Who knows? Just asking for a friend. Just asking for a friend, Leonard. And then let her friend let your friend know that uh, she, they might still be looking for some. Is it possible? Yeah, because I because I saw it says click untuk mendaftar say, which basically means click to to register. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so it is could, possible. So you could do a variety of activities such as gaming, singing, and drawing, among other things. Oh, as a yeah. hollow life character, as a huh? Life character, huh? huh, huh, huh. Okay, okay. I'll let my friend know about this. I think this is very helpful for them as well, right? Oh, but funny enough, I think that if you do this, you might have to delete this particular podcast because then, like, people will know. Oh no, it's a uh, it's, it's canon. Oh well, <laughs> well, rest assured, this is just uh, this is just for for my friend. It's not for me. So if oh, you yeah. think that it sounds like me, it's not me. It's definitely not me. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, it's so, it's so, probably so. not me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But if you if you do find across like a a a, a VTuber called Renee, then um, you might need to check back with me because 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 who knows maybe maybe there is a Renee debut somewhere debuting somewhere. Debuting. 
Yeah. Um. Yeah. I guess. I guess. To me, that's 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 Etsy. I really have nothing else to say about about VTubers in general, other than okay. That. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No. No. For you? things like this, uh, my only plan for this particular podcast is just uh, teaching people, like teaching you, yeah. and teaching myself, yeah. and teaching anyone who's watching this. What the yeah. fuck is going on? Yeah. What the hell is this? For sure. For sure. For sure. Because I was confused at one point, but now I'm a little bit more like understanding of it, and now I know also like 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 you said that you gave me some sort of like a a, a perspective. That that kind of like help help with me kind of understanding it easily, you know, so that I can be more accepting of the idea and the concept. Yes, 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 yes. And the possibility of me ever doing it in the future, ever. Doing <laughs> I thought it was for, for a friend. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I I mean I mean this is, this is the context of like me, like Renee, for uh, example, in the future. Uh, but, but the audition, the audition yeah, thing yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. is It's definitely up for a friend. I'll let her know, or I'll let him know. We don't know, right? What friend this is? Who who my friend is? But um, I I let I let my friend know that maybe the audition is open for them to yeah. to uh, apply if if they're interested. Who who knows, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, I guess that's all for me. What about you? Uh, if you have anything else uh, before we go to key takeaways? No, uh, that that's pretty much it for me. Um, all right. Yeah, All right, thank you, uh, Leonard, for the. Oh wait, wait, wait. What did you like? What did you send me? What did, what link did you send? Oh me? no, oh. Uh, so yeah, yeah, that's the one I mentioned. Like, so I'll, I'll just put it in the Discord link, so like you don't have to look for it. That. Oh, so so this one, these ones are the ones that I can try to watch to to get myself like more comfortable with VR stuff. Is it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. Because like I started it. watching that particular like, there's like a hundred clips. They're very short, mostly about like two minutes long or yep. four minutes long. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. so you could start from that, and then I'll send you more like from the Follow Stars one, and then you find you. Sure, I'll look into it. I will. I will look look into it before before this week ends. Before the next week ends, probably. Um. Okay. Um. Uh. From that aside, I think we should just go for our key takeaways. Uh. Maybe yep, I'll yep, start yep. with mine first. Um. To me, like I said, my key takeaway. I've already said this twice. I'll say the third time again because it's a charm. Um. I am very, uh, I'm very honored to have lived in this era of technology, <laughs> technological advances. I'm really, really honored to have been, you know, part of, you know, from from a brick cell phone to a touch screen phone and now to a augmented reality personality. That that's been one hell of a ride. My 20 years living in this world, uh, but also I think that there are some concerns and and some dangers to be, you know, be wary of uh, any possible issues that might arise. And it might not happen now, but it's just for the the future precedent. If anything happens, that we yeah. are careful with ourselves in this online realm that we are in right now, right? Yeah. So um, involved... Like, uh, no, no. Like to to expand on what you said as well regarding that one. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, I was thinking that, like, I think for some people, right? Like doing like the the the, the YouTuber thing. Yeah. It could also be like them trying to separate themselves from like the audience. So like. Cases where those type of things wouldn't happen. If there's any drama, that would probably happen between YouTubers. Hard to, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I think that that's that's a good that's a good way of being like kind of detached from from reality. Even though in a sense you're also kind of immersed in the augmented reality, which is like, yeah, it, it's it's a bit of gray area for me right now because I'm trying to understand it, but. Um, that there's one thing to be to to you know my notes. My other thing would just basically be it's it's a good it's a good idea for you any one of you who is shy about putting yourself out there in the world but wanting to um, try to experience it. I think if you think that VR is something of a good uh, endeavor for you, a chance for you, why not? You know it's not bad. And if you are able to be entertaining and and earn this uh, earn money this way, why not? Everybody's looking for a way to be. To be stable and have money, right? So if you can do it, um, I will also refer that to a friend and let her know and him or him know about it. So, yeah, that's my that's my two cents, literally two points of of our discussion today. What about you, Leonard? What 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 what, what is your key takeaway to to partake? Uh, my key takeaway. To be honest, I don't really have a main particular take takeaway because really yeah. the entire purpose of this 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 podcast is. This. Uh, hey, this is something I found weird and interesting. I just want to tell people about it, and that's mostly yeah. what this podcast is an excuse for me to do. Yeah, yeah. Part. Yeah, it's just yeah. like, oh, here's something I found interesting, like chess, uh, or yeah, like virtual YouTubers, like video games, uh, drama and stuff, and just like, hey, 
just want to get let you guys know. But uh, if, if there's any key takeaways, is that uh, uh, maybe a word of warning or a word of caution. Yeah. The, like even if you're not particularly too, like uh, what do you call it? If you're not particularly too into VTubers now, like mm-hmm. give it a chance. I think that's all yeah. I want to say, probably. Yeah. yeah, like give it a chance, because yeah. I didn't give it a chance for a while when I first came out and like my Discord group. Like, cause the things I knew about their VTubing uh, tendencies or like their 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 simping uh, for a while now. Yeah. Yeah. But I've, it's on not it's not only like it's not only until a, like this few past few months. Uh, like I, I can't remember exactly when, but it's when the Amelia and the Shark Girl came out. Is when I yeah. was like, yeah. okay, I'll give it a chance. Okay, I see. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think for me on my side also, like I said, I think it's just probably me being salty about the fact that like now you could yeah. just be a cutie girl and and live the life and people will like yeah, you yeah. and guys will simp over you. And to me, I think maybe that 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 reflects or that showcases my insecurities. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't I don't know. Maybe I'll I'll reflect. I'll self reflect on that. Yeah, yeah, in a week to come, I'll let you know how I feel about VR and maybe <laughs> maybe. Maybe okay, Renee, okay, okay, Renee okay. will come to light. Who knows? Who yes, knows? Yes, Renee. Yes, yes. So yeah, uh, I guess that's all for for me. Is there anything else? Uh, no, I think that's it. Okay, that's quite it. quite clear, lah. This uh, yeah. this topic of us today, we didn't really go off tangent. Yep. So um, thank you guys for listening. I hope you learned something about uh, VR VTubers along with ourselves. I think I've learned a lot of things as well from from our conversation, our discussion. So if you want to, you know, help me out and give me links as well to kind of learn more about this culture, this new set sub- subset of culture, and also this uh, cult following, this cult, this cult following. community. Uh, not, not to say that it's bad, but, you know, you can tell it's a cult following. But, um, yeah, just let me know. Give me a link and I'll look into it. Yeah, Maybe yeah. not four hours, because I don't have that much time in the world. No, 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 no. I'm not going to send you any of the streams. I'm just going to send you, like, the... Yeah, if you give me a compilation, I still, would, I still would watch it. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay, so I guess that's all for today's podcast. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, I hope to see you... It's been a while. Hopefully, no more delays. Like, well, we'll just Exactly. I, I hope to see you all next week, because next week is <laughs> halloween Yes! So, See you all next week. Have a great day, night, wherever you are. Have a good week. Bye. Bye.